those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how to style, and now natural hair care. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So today's video is just going to be short and sweet about a couple of things that have finally come in. I still have things coming in. Y'all know that USPS will not let me be great. So I only have six things for you guys. So short and sweet, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's do the jewelry first. And these are actually from a company called Draper James. If you are not familiar, this has been started or this is the company of Reese Witherspoon. So I am doing a little bit of work for her on Instagram. So she sent me two pair of earrings, which I absolutely love. They are both pearl based. So they look like this. So let's go ahead and try the first one on. And then while I'm trying these on, um, because y'all notice everything, um, I think it was on my Instagram stories where I didn't actually have my wedding band and my ring on. No, David and I are not getting a divorce. We're fine. Um, my rings are actually too big because let David tell it, he actually um, measured my finger when I was sleeping and my guard broke. So now I have a guard, so no, we're fine. But this is the earring right here. Absolutely love this. And if you're new to my channel, the reason why I'm not showing this side is because I had surgery on my ear to reclose it. So this is why I'm just showing it to you on this side. But yes, I love these. And then the second pair comes with its own bag as well. And I believe these are double hoops. Yes, double hoops. So they look like this. It's double. All right, and it looks like that. Love these. I'm not too much of a hoop person, but because these are pearls and they're embellished and it's kind of giving me more than just like the average hoop, I actually really like these. So that's these. Okay, so the next two things are from Zara. Y'all know I have a love-hate relationship with, this, with Zara. This stuff was actually delayed as well. Now these three pieces, because one of them is a set, I both I saw both of these on Tanika B, like I've explained to you before. If you are looking for inspiration to put color back into your wardrobe, I would seriously consider following her. She does have an Instagram and she also has a YouTube channel. So the very first one, yet over the top, and I, a con confession again, I do actually, or I did actually already wear this, but it is this robe right here. How gorgeous is this robe? The color, the sleeves, y'all know they're voluminous, the sleeves and the detailing, okay? Now, if you get a little bit closer right here, you can see that it has the detailing right here. I mean, I just absolutely love this. And then you have the pockets. I did get a small, and it is meant to be oversized, but that is the very look that this, the, if you were to buy something like this, because they are calling it a kimono, but if you're buying something like, like this, it's going to be simple over the top and yet very comfortable. For me, I would either wear this with like some biker shorts to close it all the way because it does have slits. That way, if it does come undone, you're not showing, you know, thigh or vagina. Um, but yeah, or you can actually wear what I did yesterday is I wore a bodycon dress under this with some heels and a purse, earrings, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and try this on. Now, next is a set, and y'all know that I don't wear pants, however, when it comes in, in public. However, when it comes to lounging, I do also like to wear pants. I don't just walk around the house in dresses all day. Um, but it is a set, and I bought it because of the print and the color. And when I tell you the color is absolutely gorgeous, the color is absolutely gorgeous, but I'm thinking about actually sending it back because of the pants, and I'll show you why in a second. But it is this right here, and it does have a little bit of a shoulder pad, but it is this right here. It ties and it also has a faux pocket or actually, no, it is a faux pocket, okay? 
gorgeous absolutely gorgeous now the reason why i'm consider actually sending this back is because these are more so i thought they were going to be elastic and they're not they're like pants pants and like i said i don't wear those but this is it right here you do have the clasp and then you do have the zipper. I thought it was going to be more so it would be elastic, kind of like lounging around the house. And then at the bottom, it does have the cuff right here. So I thought it was going to be more so like lounge. This, when you put this on, you put some heels on, you put some earrings in your in your hair, you put some earrings in your ear, and then you know you do your hair, you do your makeup, you get like a little box bag. This would be a complete look. So I'm thinking that I might keep the top and just send um the pants back because i love the top a lot but then the only thing would just be you know what do i wear this in the house with but then again i could probably get away with wearing this outside probably with i do have a white skirt i do have a pink skirt i don't have this color skirt but i do have both of these colors so we'll just try it on and see we'll do a little bit of styling since this video is going to be very short Okay, so I absolutely love this blazer. I love the color, I love the construction, I love everything about it. Y'all know I'm not gonna try the pants on, but the pants need to go back because like I said before, I thought they were more so lounge pants and I thought they had like an elastic waist. They don't, and they're too big. I love this blazer, the color. Now I said earlier that it has shoulder pads. It does not, it's just that the construction of this, when I finally put it on and noticed that there were no shoulder pads, the construction gives it a little bit of structure when it comes to the shoulders, which I absolutely love. So I have three options for you guys. I have a skirt that is white, and then for a monochrome look, I have kind of like a, a brighter pink, like a shell, kind of like a, um, a bodycon dress to show you. And then believe it or not, I actually have this color bodycon dress that y'all saw earlier in this video with the kimono. So I will try all three of those on for you just to kind of give you different ways to style it, okay? I wanted to save the best for last y'all know that on my channel I have been supporting and I tell y'all to support black owned businesses back black designers and black boutiques I can't you know say that to y'all and not do it myself this bag I have been stalking for several months now he is an up-and-coming designer he is by the name of Brandon Blackwood and if you have if you follow me on Instagram you have already seen this bag but I have been waiting for this particular box box bag to come back in stock it is one of his most popular i bought it because i absolutely love the color and the hardware okay i got it by way of a company called the lobby so here is the box and this is how it comes and then you just open it and it has your receipt and it has a handwritten thank you note and then y'all know i love any bag that comes with a dust bag so here is the dust bag right here. And I love his packaging, black and white, simple and elegant, okay? So, it is this bag right here. I absolutely love this bag. Um, most of the bags in my collection are very structured, you know, like my mother said, because I'm uptight and, you know, very structured, very reserved, which is fine. Um, I feel like I'm coming out of my, you know, box a little bit. Even me just getting on Instagram and even me just putting myself out there on YouTube, trust me, is a huge, huge deal for me. So if you follow me, I appreciate you more than you know. But it is this bag right here. It does have his name. It's Brandon Blackwood. And I know that I don't have a color like this in my wardrobe, but I do have a Leo and Lynn dress that I will show you when I try this on that this goes perfectly with. And by the way, if you have been following me, you would have seen that gorgeous Leo and Lynn dress that does match this. I went on Amazon because the 
top part of it is completely see-through. It's lacy, but it's completely see-through. And I was actually able to match the spaghetti strap or the camisole. I got it on Amazon and I'll show you that as well. But I absolutely love this bag. I don't know if you know of a company or a designer by the name of Mark Cross. He is a Caucasian designer and I was looking at one of his bags. It is a box bag. His start at $2,500. So you know, this is made very well and at the same time, why not support a black owned business, okay? And this is completely detachable, which I will probably wear it like that. Um, for the summer and then probably for the winter, I will probably reattach it, you know, because being cold, I'll want to have my hands in my coat pocket, okay? But like I said, it's completely detachable, so, you know, just holding it like this. And if you don't know, the top handle is my favorite bag silhouette. So it opens like this, and you just open it just like that. In there. I and mean, then it is wide. Now, he does have a mini, but I just thought that that was too small. And this should fit everything that I need. I don't carry much, but this should fit everything that I need. And I believe, yes, so I can get a little bit in here. You, I don't know if you can see it, but his name is also, oh gosh, I can't get in there. You can see that little bit of flash of gray, I mean, a flash of uh, gold right there. That's his name again. Okay, and then you just snap. And then here's the back. And then it does have feet. I like bags that have feet, but it kind of protects the bottom of the bag. And he actually put on these little plastic thingies on here and I haven't taken them off yet. I probably won't, but yeah, I love this bag. Um, I will link this down below. I got it from the lobby on his actual website. It is sold out. He's on the lobby and he's also on SAC. And then he has his own website, but I'm gonna tell you right now. His stuff sells out so fast. I mean, when I say he's up and coming, Beyonce and I think Rihanna were wearing this bag. So y'all know what happens when Beyonce and Rihanna get a hold of things. So I will link this down below, but I did also create an alert because people on Instagram were asking me as well where I got the bag. So I will get an alert when this is back in stock. If you don't follow me or if you don't, can't remember to come back, when you get on the lobby, I would seriously suggest if you're looking to get a Brandon, Bla Brandon Blackwood bag, I would seriously suggest signing up for the alerts. Um, I had been stalking this bag and then I got the email alert. I bought it. The next day it was sold out and it probably sold out that same day, but I was just so happy and elated that I got mine. I didn't go back to check. So if you are checking for this designer, I'm telling you right now, whatever bag you see, buy it or set yourself up for an alert, okay? Okay, so before I show you the bag with this dress, y'all know if you've been a part of my community that this was part of a haul. I had been stocking this dress for a long time, but one of the things that I wanted to make sure that I did is because although you can see that this is lace, it's completely see-through. So what you see from like right here to right here with the spaghetti strap is an actual crap top that I got from Amazon. It came in like a pack of five. It had red, it had gray, it had black, and it had navy. I'll link it down below, but it fits with this dress or it matches the color of this dress perfectly. I mean, it looks like it was almost, almost made for this dress, okay? So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the purse. 